Hello guys, so for today, so let's go back to uh, uh, double sticks. So um, this will be hopefully a short video, only a short video. So I'll be creating, I'll be doing a drills, uh, specific drills, which is redonda. This is redonda, right? So I've, I've, I've shot a lot of uh, videos regarding this, uh, regarding this technique or pattern. So redonda is one, two, three, and four. And then, but for today, for today's video, or one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, which is typical, or the common Philippine martial, spot, uh, martial arts pattern uh, for double stick, okay? So, but for today, so what I want is to make it as a flow, or to create different, uh, different way to apply it, especially the first one. Okay, it's first strike. So, this is a five strike. I uh, five uh, five drills that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna share. For, uh, it's up to you to practice it. Okay. So, first one is do it the direct training, a uh, direct uh, striking. Meaning, I'm gonna strike, which is the common one, two, three. But for today, we're gonna insert one. This is the common one, two, and three, and then four. This is the add, we added one, okay? Again, one, two, three, and then four. So the tip here is whenever you're hitting with this one, do not let it go here or make sure that this one goes to your shoulder. Do not rest it here because it's, it will not be easy for this to flow. Usually what I ask my student is to let it flow toward your shoulder, your shoulder, then this one will be open for this and slightly torque your body so this one can flow. Okay, so Kitikitinarke is really, again, a, a vertical strike or diagonal strike, which is same pattern, okay? Same or same plane. Okay, go. so this is it. One, we'll start from this one, two, three, and four. One, two, three and four now let me visualize it there here for example someone is attacking me here in these angles again i'm doing it solo so, so you can train it then practice it with your with with a partner for example someone visualize visualization someone attack me here so i can attack it two three and four and if he attacks me here then i'm gonna attack it here one two three and four so let's practice it one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what I like about in this way, I can do it with salubong or meeting the pores, or I can do it paayon or following the pores. Okay, so the only di difference between that is especially uh, positioning, footwork. For example, if he attacks me, I can move forward, impace it, or meet the force, then continually, uh, continuously attacking it. If he is attacking me here, I can back up, back it up, or go to the side and follow it, follow his uh, energy, and then follow be this one. Okay, so you need to know to position your body, to position your your legs for you to be able to successfully apply it against this thing, okay? So, again, let's do it. One, two, three, and four. Go move one, two, three, and four. Applying it preemptively or meaning uh, meeting the force, I can do it preemptively or, for example, if somebody's uh, uh, trying to uh, brand this his, his people like this, then I'm going to hit it. Or I can pass it by stepping backward, then hit him with this one. Or I can meet the pores and then do this, okay? Visualization is a strong uh, way to train each technique of Philippine martial, especially even before, no? So if you can't have a partner, then you need to train it alone, but always make sure that you train it with strong visualization, meaning strong visualization of correcting yourself, Self-correcting, strong visualization of, uh, of uh, a strike, uh, 
can you, do you think that his strike is powerful, his strike is faster, his strike whatever? So if his strike is powerful, then you strike with powerful strike. If his strike is faster, then you can retra- retreat and then counter attack. So it depends on how you visualize the technique, and how you will attack it or count, counter it. That will be your uh, way or method of training. Okay, but for now, let's practice it this way. So uh, meeting the force, visualizing meeting the force, go move. That's your first. And then visualizing by parrying in the force. Two, three, four. Okay? So that's your second move. First is meeting the force. Second is parrying the force. Parry, two, three, and four. Parry, two, three, and four. Parry, two, three, and four. Okay? So like, like, like I did earlier, please do it 10 times. So visualize by parrying it. One, two, three, and four. Parry it, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Then one, two, three, and four. Okay? So after that, try to visualize by applying a kit. So here, earlier I posted it like this. This time I'm posting like this. So sungkit or firing the force as well, but this time with the back of the blade. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. This is your third drills, okay? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now visualize this attack. Who comes here? I can step back. Three and four. I can step back. Two, three, and four. Or if we strike, remember your response will also depend on the angles. If his angles is like this, then you can duck or you can ship it like this. Okay? But if his angles is more of a downward, then you can just move to that side so you can parry it. Okay? Parry by hooking, not trusting his face, but by hooking. One, two, three, and four. In case your stick falls into, into this position, then fire it by hooking two, three, and four. Okay? One, two, three, and four. And do it ten times as well. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Okay? That's your third. Fourth is doing it as pa sampal. Do this one. Sampal is one, two, and three, and four. Then one, two, three, and four. Do a flaking motion in case something is arriving on your head, then flick it. One, two, three, and four. Flick it. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's do it ten times. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Good. Two, three. Remember, I always move on the side because whenever we train this one, we want to make sure that you're actually moving. You're coordinating your body, coordinating your body, your legs, and your hands while moving because you want to get used to it. Okay? So that's your port. This time, what I do is I'm parrying this. Okay? So, in case his strike goes downward, then I'm gonna parry it. Then three and four. Go. So, one, fire it using this one. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. But make sure that you're not doing it like this. Or too, follow, too much follow through. What I want is just use a stick to bounce it. Boom. Then one, two, three, four, five. Then bounce it, hit on the back of his blade or back of his weapon. One, then retreat it. One, retreat it back here to execute one, two, three, and four. So execute this one. One, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. Good. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. 
So execute the parry using your right hand. Then return to, for you to be able to carry it. Two, three, and four. Same thing here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's do it. I'm sorry, I said I should do it with a few minutes only and break it into five videos, but instead I do it like this. Okay, but anyway, you can do it for a week. Go move. One, sorry. One, two, three, and four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. So one, two, four, and five. One, two, three, five. Okay? So five drills, guys. Five drills that you can practice with or without a partner. But hopefully you do. Like I said, you all need to practice it on air with equipment, uh, whatever equipment that you have, and with a partner as much as possible. So with a partner, can you can do it slow, mid-speed, high-speed. You can do pressure testing by really cutting you. It's really at attempting to cut you. Okay, so practice it. Guys, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Most of the videos, I don't have a partner. I just want to be active again here on Facebook or in, in my social media. Uh, account so whenever I shoot this I usually came from teaching online so and then I just don't want to waste the time so after teaching online with someone then I'm gonna shoot a video for content okay so hope you like the video and thanks thank you for watching if you like this please like follow and subscribe to this uh, channel or to this uh, account and then share it support me by sharing it uh, so people can see it and then if you if you are interested to learn rapid release mokali then please visit our web page which is rapid release .com, or visit our facebook page which is rapid release mokali as well search it you can see it and find, find it and you can see some of the instructors that are willing to share their experience and knowledge and if you are interested to train with me either online privately or in person uh, as well as if you want me to conduct seminars to your place or, or anything like either NGOs or to your clubs, you can message me in abontactical at gmail.com. Email me there or you can message me in, in any of my social media account. I do online courses. I, I do online training or virtual class. I do uh, in-person training. We, you can also train with us in Luneta every Saturday and Sunday. Or you can also, if you're interested and you don't have time to, or our time are not sure perfectly much, you can train with us using free recorded videos like online courses. I do have online courses with different topic of self-protection and I also have uh, Rapid Release Mokali specific, uh, specific courses. You can check it on pagiranonline.wibli.com. So everything is in description. Okay, thank you. Guys, please uh, kindly support me here. Thank you and see you in the next one. Please practice it, learn it, get used to it, master it, and explore it. Thank you and see you in the next one. Poor guy.